children. Good morning, children. Children, today we will start a new chapter that is light. It is chapter twelve. Now, first of all, before proceeding, we will know what is light. Children, you might have seen a beam of sunlight when it enters a room through a narrow opening, or you can say through a hole. You may have also seen beams of light from the headlight of scooters, cars, buses, etc. So similarly, a beam of light can be seen from a torch also. On the basis of all these experiences, we can say that light always travels along a straight path. Light always. travels through a through straight line light always travels through a straight line now children you can you can recall some activities we had performed in class 6 one activity is also there that suppose that there is a lighted candle only we just want to prove or recall that light travels in a straight path suppose that this is a lighted candle and we are taking a straight pipe to see the flame of light from here we are observing the light so again the same lighted candle we supposed to watch with the help of a bent pipe this is a bent pipe and with from here we are absorbing the flame now children what do we find we will find that we are able to see the flame of the lighted candle in case of straight pipe but we are unable to see the flame of light from this bent pipe the reason behind this is only and only that light travels through a straight line so do you know what happens when light falls on a polished or you can say shiny surface now we will know how the change the light changes the path okay we will see here how the light changes its path now this one is clear that light always travel through a straight line we can change the how we can change the path of light do you know what happens when light fall on a polished or shiny surface suppose that you can take a stainless steel plate also you can take a shiny spoon also or metallic stainless steel spoon you can take then you will find that let the light fall on the shiny stainless steel plate 
इट कैन चेंज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ लाइट द सर्फेस ऑफ वॉटर कैन ऑल्सो एक्ट लाइक अ मिर एंड चेंज द पाथ ऑफ लाइट नाउ यू माइट हैव सीन द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ ट्रीज और बिल्डिंग इन वॉटर सो फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट एनी पॉलिश्ड और शाइनी सर्फेस कैन एक्ट एज अ मिरर and what happens when light falls on a mirror children you have learned in class 6 that a mirror changes the direction of light that falls on it and this change of direction by a mirror is called reflection of light reflection of light this change of direction of light by a mirror or a shiny surface you can say is called reflection of light now we have to study about the characteristic of an image formed by a plane mirror characteristic of an image formed by a plane mirror now children to understand the characteristics of an image which is formed by a plane mirror we need to do an activity and the things required to do the activity is graph paper or you can say simply you can take chess board also either graph paper or chess board then the second thing required is a plain mirror third it is required is to take clay and the fourth one is drawing pens or drawing pens now first of all what you have to do you have to take a chess board or a graph paper and make it fix if you are taking graph paper then you have to make it fix on a table or cardboard type of things this graph paper should be fixed on the graph paper
have to fix the plane mirror over here in vertical condition. This you can fix it with the help of plane. This plane mirror is to be placed in a vertical position with the help of clay on this chest board. Chest board. Then what you have to do, you have to place some small small things. You can take sharpener or you can take eraser or small toys also you can take and you have to just place it on the chest board. And after that, after placing it on the chest board, you will find the image of the same on this plane mirror. So, you will find that when you suppose to keep, suppose that you are placing the toy card or eraser or sharpener, whatever it is here, then you can easily count and find out that the image, suppose that here one, two, three checks are there, the distance between the mirror and the object which is kept here is 3 square. Then the image form will also be at 3 square behind the mirror. So you can say that the distance between the, the distance between the object and the mirror and the distance between the and the distance between the image and the mirror distance between the image and the mirror image and the mirror is same that is suppose that the object you are placing here, then the distance between the object and the mirror is same as that of the object between the image. Suppose that children, here is the, this one is the mirror and this is the object. Okay, this one is the object. So distance between the mirror and the object is same as that of the distance between the mirror and the image. That means both are same which is the characteristic feature of a plane mirror. The image which is formed by a plane mirror this is the characteristic feature. Now the second one is that this is the first feature. Now the second one is that the object, the size of the object, the size of the object is same as that of the image. That means, suppose that this is an object, then the image will form, will also be of the same size. Both will be of same size. The image which is formed here in the plane mirror and the size of the object will be the same. This is the second characteristic feature. Now, what is the third one? The image formed is always, the image which is formed is always erect. That is, it is not upside down. It is always erect. 
upright so the, this is also the characteristic feature of a of uh, image which is formed by a plane mirror that the image is always erect straight it is not upside down then the fourth one is the object here in case of uh, the formation of an image by a plane mirror one interesting phenomena takes place and that interesting phenomena is that about lateral inversion lateral inversion means the object suppose that this is the object and when its image will be formed then the right side of the object appears to be left in the image and the left side of the object appears to be in the right side of the image this phenomena is known as lateral inversion in case it takes place in case of a plane mirror now once again we will recall the properties first of all the size of the image is same as that of the object the second one is that the image formed is erect that is always upright not upside down that means suppose that this is the object the then the image will not be in this way not in upside down position it will always be upright so it is known as erect image okay now the third one is the image is always virtual that is if you will place a cardboard or you can say a chart paper behind or in front of this mirror then you will not be able to obtain the image that is when the image is virtual you will place a cardboard or chart paper behind or in front of the mirror then you will not be able to obtain the image on the screen so this type of image is known as virtual image the image formed is the fourth property is that the image formed is as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of it now that is the distance between the object and the mirror is same as the distance between the image and the mirror then the last property that is lateral inversion the right side of the object appears as the left in the image similarly the right, right side uh, sorry the left side of the object appears as the right side of the image so these are the characteristic features of an image which is formed by a plane mirror okay children